Okay, welcome back. The same way we did for the logical ant and how it does short circuit evaluation, we will do the same thing for the logical OR. So again, we are using the same static method is right, which will return always true, but after spending a good number of iterations, 10 billion iterations, doing nothing. So if you want to use logical or where you are going to evaluate all the parts of the condition you can use one vertical bar that means you are asking to evaluate all the parts of the condition so we know that now var1 less than 5 is true because var1 is equal to 4 and we know that is right to return true so let's say it is going to return false in this case so when i run it now i'm evaluating all the cases and it's going to take time because I'm not using the short circuit evaluation. Why? Because I use only one vertical bar. But we know that var1 less than 5 is true. So in OR, if one condition is true, that means overall will be true. So why do we waste our time and do all the evaluations? So we can tell Java that if one condition that you are evaluating is true, Kindly ignore the remaining conditions. So we use short circuit evaluation. Now, if you do it, in no time, it's going to tell you it's true. Because this condition was evaluated true, so Java has stopped evaluating the remaining, which, remember, calling the is right method, it will iterate 10 billion times and it's going to require like four seconds. To show you this again, let's run it with short circuit evaluation it spent no time because the first condition was true now if i go back and say no evaluate all the conditions so it's going to be yes doing all the evaluations and it's going to be time now an interesting question would be why do we need to do all the evaluations why why sometimes we don't want to stop for example in the or we don't want to stop by finding that the first condition or second or whatever is true, we have to stop. Because sometimes you want to use the result of the call. So let's say boolean, boolean flag equal false. And I may I may need this result later on in my in my code. So in this case, in this case, what will happen? I might end up calling this thing. So I'm saying what? Give me this. Call is right. And store the result in a variable code flag because I'm going to use it later on in my code. For example, system.out.println value of flag variable, which is a Boolean, is equal to what? Plus flag. Okay, remember that was true, but this will return false. So if I run it now, it's going to say, after a while, it's going to say true, it's okay, but it has also given me the variable, the content, the return value by is right or is false or whatever you want to call it. So not always people avoid the all evaluation of the conditions because sometimes as I shown you now we need to call this method at some point and it happens that we are calling it in the if statement so in this case we have to put the evaluation of all the non so the non short circuit evaluation so we have to evaluate all the parts of the compound condition thank you very much